Hi, Johnny Bergen here. Today's lesson is on Ike Turner, and this is his house at 304 Washington, where he grew up in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Great to be here. Let's just take a look around. Yeah, the sun's going down in Clarksdale. I am thrilled to be talking about Ike Turner today, um, master of the whammy bar, master of the Stratocaster, and um, a musical genius in so many ways. All right, let's get it. Here we go. So we're talking about Ike Turner today. I played a little bit of twist in the strings. Sometimes I just I just held on to the bar without using it. Because sometimes he's sort of half using it, I think. And then sometimes he's just really letting you have it. Mostly this one. But you know, he sets himself up for that. Um, he plays like some themes first, and then he puts his tricks in there. And then finally he leaves you with this. That kind of thing. So um, I'm crazy about Ike Turner's guitar playing. It's not really crazy hard to play, and it's a lot of fun. Um, everything's kind of that kind of thing. He does this a lot in Prancing and Hey Hey and Ho Ho. He goes like that. But in, in Twisting the Strings, he goes. And for the whammy bar, you just gotta really, you just gotta. It's a 12 bar intro, and then, tw then 12 bars are just this. That kind of thing. And then he hits with the whammy bar. So he's like getting wilder and crazier as he goes on. So it, it has this, uh, so he, he sets himself up.
You know, as my buddy, uh, my buddy Bill Bates uh, told me a story about Ike Turner. Um, he said, oh, I ain't that much of a guitar player. I, I just took some lessons from Earl Hooker. He definitely has a big Earl Hooker vibe. They really sound kind of like Earl Hooker songs in a, in a big way. And one thing that's neat is that he never really repeats himself exactly. And he's, it's just like his thoughts on a certain groove. And that's, that's how the Earl, early Earl Hooker instrumentals um, strike me. And they're also very impish. But in Pranson, he does some of the same things that he does in the Billy Gale song, I'm Tore Up, which Otis Rush, you know, went on to play again and again. You know, where he goes... I like the way he gets out of that. He just slides down... But a lot of the notes are not that hard. I mean, it's all here. And then he'll slide like down in this position. That's on the four. And that, that, that uh, little trick lick he does is like. So he goes all the way to the top and then down to the bottom lowest note that he's going to play in that song. So that's kind of the way that song goes. It's not that crazy if you can just sort of, you got to let yourself go and have some fun. And I like the way he pops the notes, you know. Something like that. It's the first go around. Then he sets you. Then he hits you with the whammy bar. He never does it first off. He always like waits a little while and then goes. <laughs> then he switches to this position, which is that position, like a D minor shape. And then he's up at the top. Sometimes when you do that bend, you can do a halfway up. And then you could do this. You gotta make it bounce. It's very rockabilly. slides right into the, the ninth chord, right? I'm twisting the strings. He has this great break where it's like... It's very similar, right, to this. This one would be like... I love that. It's so dance-oriented. It's so physical. He has these little explosive things he does and he puts him in at just the right time. And um, that's why he really saw himself as like an organizer of music and uh, someone who put bands together and made them sound great, turned it into a show, that kind of thing. You know, that's why I guess he was kind of casual about his guitar playing. Like when I read that book, he never talked about his guitar style or anything. He talked about his piano playing he talked about his history. You know, he talked about everything but his guitar playing. It's kind of funny. He did say he bought, like, the first Stratocaster in Clarksdale, you know. And that was it. He never mentioned it again, practically. Um, his first gig was with was with Robert Nighthawk um, playing piano. He was a teenager. And you can just see what the deep, deep blues um, roots he had. 
and then he quickly became a DJ and a talent scout. And, you know, the rest is history. But, but when he came back, he was so doggone good. And I'm just going to do a little bit of You Got What You Wanted. You know, I wish he had produced a Buddy Guy record. It would have been the greatest Buddy Guy record since A Man in the Blues. That's like the one that I, the greatest Buddy Guy record that never happened. <laughs> he just plays with a lot of force on that one. He goes like... you got I gave you what you wanted hey my fault you don't like what you got little note uh, my friend Frank Goldwasser who's a great player in the LA area has a song called me and I Icky Rinrut which of course is one of Ike Turner's pseudonyms and uh, he did record under that name Icky Rinrut where he talks about meeting him and talking with him and Ike Turner came to a gig that he was playing at and it's just a really neat story it's from Frank's record Sweet Little Black Spider definitely check it out so um, if you enjoyed this lesson do subscribe to my youtube channel and have fun um twisting the blues and twisting the strings ike turner style all right thanks a lot bye bye